Hey everybody, I'm Raven Maureen, and this is the first weekly vlog of 2024. Now, there's quite a few new faces here, so let me just give a quick intro to what this weekly vlog is. This is where I document my sewing projects, I show you guys some behind the scenes of my handmade pattern weight business, and you also get to see just some behind the scenes of my daily life. So, welcome! Enjoy. Along with filling orders on Friday, I actually worked on my Nomi wool coat, that's Nomi Pattern 2001 by Nikki Brooks, aka Beauty J'adore. And so I've already finished this coat and I have a pattern review up on this channel for this, but here's some behind the scenes of me actually attaching the facing to the lining. I basted it down first because I always find that adding the facing and the lining is probably the most complicated part of sewing a coat for me in particular but I basted it first and now I'm doing the actual stitch on it so Friday's dinner consisted of salmon tacos which I eat quite a bit of salmon, but I don't think I've ever made salmon tacos. So I'm going to put the recipe down below. But as you can see, I did use um, pickled red onion, avocado, cilantro, and lime. And I paired this with black beans and rice. I did mention in one of my previous videos that I wanted to work on eating more healthy and obviously losing weight and I'm really excited to share that through just making smarter choices with food and walking the dog more consistently with Joe around the neighborhood I've actually lost nine pounds so I'm really proud of myself I hope I continue to um, keep going in this progress but I will be sharing this recipe down below for anyone that's interested it was absolutely delicious and it's gonna be in hot rotation in this household On Saturday, Joe and I decided to do some grocery shopping. So first we stopped at Costco. We had to pick up water and just some other small items. Next, we went around the corner to Kroger where we picked up the bulk of our groceries.
On Saturday, I continued with the lining of my coat. This was a huge undertaking just because the coat is really, really long. So I was dealing with a lot of fabric here, but it was really rewarding when this got done. So on Saturday night, I actually used the lamb slices that we got at Costco earlier that day and I made a gyro salad. So this is something that when I'm usually on my best behavior with eating, <laughs> I try to incorporate this because it's healthy, but it also is like super delicious. And so I just take romaine lettuce tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, some pepperoncinis, and we actually forgot to get feta, but I put all of this together in a bowl along with some naan bread, which I love. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I did substitute the Parmesan cheese that we had in the fridge for the feta that we normally have. And then I just drizzled some olive oil on top and this was chef's kiss. So the last two and a half days, we actually had a really big cold front come through and I was just kind of on pins and needles, making sure that we didn't lose electricity or that our pipes didn't freeze. So I was just kind of like at a standstill with sewing. And on Wednesday, I actually got a lot of mail that I think was just kind of held up at the post office um, until things settled down around here. So I did get this fabric from LA Finch Fabrics and this is kind of like a power mesh. I'm in love with this print like it's so gorgeous and then I also got some garment tags because why not <laughs> then I also got um, a surprise gift which was so cute my mother-in-law got this shirt for me she said that she saw it on Etsy and immediately thought of me which is so sweet so I'm definitely gonna be wearing this Hey guys, so I just want to thank you for stopping in and watching my weekly vlog. Aside from the things that you saw me get at the end of this vlog, I also got some other stuff. So I want to show you that and I want to show you what I'm working on this week. So I picked up five yards of this rib knit um, fabric from Joann's and this is for a special project. I can't talk about it too much, but you're going to know about it, hear about it in the next month. I'll say that. <laughs> but if this looks familiar, it's because I have the woven version of this. Um, as a matter of fact, let me show you. Okay. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I mean, obviously the vibrancy in the woven, actually, this is really more of a charmeuse, um, is very bright right but 
I love pink and orange together. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's just like the other one I have at home, except for it's written it like, give it to me now. So I picked this up and um, yeah. So stay tuned for that project. So I also went to Hobby Lobby um, for a couple of things. I actually wanted to get like an early start on shopping for Valentine's Day. And don't get me wrong, I have plenty of pink and red fabric in this closet behind me where like the stuff that I got was like simply supplemental. So I did get this fabric here and it's got like little hearts on it. And I wanna use it to make this apron right here. And I will be working on that in February. Um, I think it's so cute and just timeless and it's a vintage pattern. And one of my goals this year is to get more into vintage patterns. So I'm excited for this project. The other thing that I bought was a sweatshirt because I wanna repurpose it. And let me give you a big hint. I bought the pearl kit. <laughs> so I say all that to say, um, stay tuned for the refashion, I guess you could say. <sighs> all right, so let's get into what I'm working on this week. I am working on the Coeli blouse by Pauline Alice Patterns. It is, I believe, a French pattern. And I am actually using lace for this project. So um, lace is one of those fabrics where you kind of have to like almost, it's almost like working with like invisible or clear fabric because you can just see all sides of it. So, you know, I'm using French seams, which is something that I don't always do. So it's taking me a little bit longer to kind of get in the rhythm of it. But so far what I have, <laughs> It doesn't look like a lot, but what I have is at least the bodice. <clears throat> and then on the back are the straps because you have to um, tie the back of the, the blouse in. So this top or this blouse has like a little bit of a mock neck. It's got really big like bishop sleeves and then it's got like a really big bodice. Um, but I actually want to cut the bodice down and make it like just a simple empire. So hopefully I get to do that. Hopefully I get to keep the scalloped edges of the lace. So stay tuned for all that. And yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. Now, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. See you guys next time. Bye.